So the nursing process have steps. We have assessment, diagnosis, outcome, identification and planning, implementation and evaluation. So earlier I mentioned that we have problem identification. That is assessment stage. It's that at every level we do assessment. But the major assessment is done when we are starting the whole nursing process. Let's say at first at um, taking up the during admission of the patient, even during discharge, any time that we come into contact with patients and you are handling the patient in the capacity as a nurse, you go through these processes. So the assessment stage, we collect data. We verify the data that what the patient says I have headache. Is there a way of verifying it? Sometimes you look at patient's medical diagnosis, you can tell that headache is one of the symptoms. Of, that's the way of verifying it. Sometimes you look at patient appearance. Patient is sitting this way. If patient says she has headache, it's highly possible that it's true. If patient is very quiet, patient cannot sleep, and she says I have headache. It's possible. So you, you verify, you can verify through a um, laboratory investigations. If patient has any form of infection, patient says she has headache, it's possible. We make sure that the data we collect at the assessment stage is organized. How are you going to organize the data? When patient says, I have headache, I have stomach pain, it started last week and then I have been to the hospital, it's not going. Um, when I turn my position, my, I get more pains at the left at my flank. How do you organize this data to make it more meaningful? It's part of the assessment. We interpret data at the assessment stage too. Patient says, I can't sleep. How, what does it mean to, for patient to say I cannot sleep? Does it mean patient cannot sleep continuously for two hours during the day? Does it mean patient cannot sleep continuously for eight hours during the night? What does it mean? Patients say, I, I have loss of appetite. Does it mean patient cannot drink enough fluids? Or patient can't drink enough water? Or patient is just having nausea? And then documentation is part of the assessment. Everything patient tells you, if you're able to verify that it's true, or even if you cannot verify, you can't tell whether it's true, you still have to document it. You organize it so that it will become more meaningful when you are reporting and then you interpret it then you document so that has to do with the first part which is the assessment thank you